The topic for today is ad blocks. We all use ad blocks in our browsers um, because it's so annoying every day when we visit the websites and you get pop-up ads, malware, stuff like that being installed to your computer without you knowing. And there's also these tracking scripts. Generally, these things make your computer slower, make your browsing experience very bad, and they eat up your battery. So today, we're going to talk about ways we can detect ad block usage from our website. Um, this is a very good article from PageFair talking about stats uh, for ad block usage. You can look at it in the description below. But all I'm saying is um, ad block is on the rise. So sooner or later, more and more people are going to use ad block for their daily browsing. So today we're going to talk about how we can detect when the user has ad block on our website. Let's say you run a small blog and your livelihood depend on the revenue from the ads on your website. So if somebody visits your website, reads your article, and they have ad block on, that means they're not getting any impressions of the ad, and therefore you're not getting paid. So ad block is good for the for the user standpoint, is that they can block bad scripts and ads. But from the publisher standpoint, it's very bad because potentially you could lose your income uh, over it. So there's a big debate going on, and there's really no good solutions at the moment. So certain websites started doing the following. If they detect your website, if, if they detect your uh, browser has an ad block on, they will stop you from um, visiting your website. Or they'll pop up a message asking you to kindly disable your ad blocker. So we're, today we're going to look into how we can accomplish that on our website. So to start, let's have a main script file like this. This is a basic HTML page. Um, we're going to include two scripts on this page, advertisement.js and then main.js. So let's look at advertisement.js. All it has is a uh, variable. It sets a global variable called show ads to true. And then in our main.js, we'll basically see check if this variable exists. And if it if it exists, that means you know the user has no ad block. And if it doesn't, then you update uh, the the div in the HTML to say you have ad block. So let's take a look at this script in action. So I'll navigate to my project directory and I'll start a Python server. So now if I go to localhost 8000, so Right now, I'm visiting this page with no ad block. And as you can see, it says no ad blocker detected. Now, if I turn on my ad block and refresh, and boom, it tells you I have ad blocker. So it basically detected that I have ad blocker. So this is very handy. So how does this work? It's very simple, actually. The way ad block works is that they look at the scripts on your page and if the script has a certain name that's matching part of the database for ad-related scripts, they will disable it. They will prevent it from loading into your page. So in this case, I set up a bait script called advertisement.js, knowing that adblock is going to be blocking it. So I'm putting it on the page right now. It's really important you add this before your main script. So when I put this, like this will not get executed if ad block is turned on and therefore this value will be set to undefined so in my program logic you know is saying if this value is undefined then you have ad block on otherwise this va this script was run and the value was set therefore you have no ad block it's really simple actually and you know that's all there is to it there are um, i recommend you use something like uh, google analytics to track the usage of ad block. So you can do something very sim simple like you know include a Google Analytics script and then um, you can emit an event when somebody has or has does not have ad block in your program script. So you know like if somebody has no ad block you can just do 
this. So this will say, oops, let me get rid of the duplicate. This will say this will send an event to GA and say you have ad block. This user does not have ad block. And then if they actually do have an ad block, uh, let me just copy this right here. If you do have ad block, you know it's uh, enabled. So this will you'll be able to track in real time, you know, and you get a, you can get a full report of the percentage of users that you have on your website who are using ad block. And you, you can do much further than that. Like you can, you know, create a pop-up message saying, you know, please disable your ad block or just disable certain features on your site unless they disable their ad block, whatever you want, but don't go overboard, you know. People get annoyed when you um, message them when they have ad block on. So I hope you find this technique useful and apply it to your website. You can see the full source code on my repo and the full article on my website. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.